Once we're actually working with the system's memory, there are quite a few chances to create problems, such as invalid memory addresses, memory leaks, missing allocation, uninitialized memory access, and more. Let's go over what some of these things mean. Invalid memory access usually occurs when accessing unallocated or freed up memory. This might happen when dereferencing a pointer to an invalid address, or trying to assign data at an unallocated address. A memory leak occurs when memory is allocated via the new keyword, but is never deallocated via the delete keyword. So remember, always free any memory that you allocate. Missing allocation errors occur when you try to free memory that has already been freed. So for example here, we don't own this chunk of memory because we've already freed it. So any data that this pointer is currently pointing to could become corrupted or deleted, affecting other programs running on the system. Sometimes you'll get a big error message like this if you're trying to double free some memory address. Uninitialized memory access errors occur when you try to read a value of an uninitialized variable. So keep all of these errors in mind when you're working with pointers and dynamic memory allocation. Different types of variables are stored in different types of memory. Dynamic arrays are allocated in the heap, and local variables and parameters are allocated in the stack. The stack has a more complex structure than the heap. The size of the stack is fixed, containing a sequence of memory addresses. There is no need to manually erase memory, it is lazy deleted, meaning that it will stay there but be overwritten when that space is needed. When we declare variables, parameters, or make a function call, this data is pushed onto the stack. The stack is optimized, and the CPU can manage the memory quickly, dealing with the reads and writes. When a function is called, its variables are pushed onto the stack, and when the function ends, its variables are popped off the stack, so, in other words, they're freed. The stack grows and shrinks as its variables are pushed on and popped off. We don't manage the memory ourselves; it is handled for us automatically. Variables on the stack only exist while the function that they belong to is running. And also remember that there is a limit on the size of the stack. Now with the heap on the other hand, the heap handles dynamically allocated memory, so dynamic arrays are just variables that we create dynamically. It does not automatically deallocate this memory, we must do it manually. That's why we use the new and delete keywords. Dynamically allocated memory has to be accessed via a pointer. Large objects, such as arrays, classes, and so on, should be allocated on the heap. There is no size restriction on the heap like there is for the stack and variables created on the heap are accessible anywhere in the program by passing pointers around. So think of the stack as dealing with functions, so their local variables and their parameters, and then think of the heap as dealing with dynamic memory and pointers. So in summary, the stack is optimized and fast, it has a limited size, it handles the memory allocation and deallocation automatically for us, its variables cannot be resized, and the stack relates to local variables and functions. The heap has no size limit. Variables can be accessed anywhere via pointers. It requires that we manually manage memory ourselves, but we can resize our variables. <laughs>